Hope you guys enjoyed that cool little intro we did of Kevin's truck. We're actually gonna try something new here. We're gonna do like a little video series with all of the employee trucks. So um, all the technicians and everything here at AirDog, we all drive diesels. Uh, we love diesel trucks and we just wanted to make a couple little videos um, of everyone's truck to just kind of let them uh, show what they've done to it and kind of tell their story. This is, I think it's 01 Dodge? 99. 99 Dodge. Yeah, I was close enough, but. Yeah. So this truck started out as a gas half ton? Yep, gas half ton. I bought the truck in August of 2017. Um, I had a complete donor truck, four wheel drive. I sold a four wheel drive trans, a transfer case out of it. Got an MD 5600 six speed uh, for the same price. Swapped it all in. Uh, I had the truck driving by, um, say, November of 2017. I, I, got, I got it done pretty quick. It surprised me. Yeah, it was, it was a really quick build. I mean, start to finish i remember whenever he, he bought this thing and brought it home it was it was just literally a couple months and it was going so yeah it's a, it's a pretty sweet build yeah pretty much the only thing custom on it is the drive shaft yeah drive i mean everything shaft. else bolted on every, everything bolted in on it so yeah so i mean it's i mean what have you done to it like performance wise um i mean it has a set of injectors uh, seven by 12s um it has uh, obviously one of our air dog fuel pumps it's running a concept df 165 we're doing some uh some longevity testing on. I, I drive this truck quite a bit. Um, I've done uh, a Yukon Dura Grip in the rear. Um, it's a it's the factory nine and a quarter rear end C clip axle, but haven't had any issues out of it. I know some people even drag race um, on right. these trucks that swap Cummins into them. So, um, so it looks pretty nice under here. It looks, I mean, pretty much like everything bolted right in. Essentially, I mean, it did. Um, there's really nothing custom. Uh, the hydro boost bolted in. There is the, the the knockout for the hydraulics for the manual. Um, I the only thing I had to grab from the other truck was the cross member for the trans. Right. Um, it kind of hangs down a little further and it's a little beefier, uh, but that's still bolted right in. Um, and then there's really nothing special done under the hood. It just, no, I mean it literally just looks like a factory truck under the hood. Yeah. And you you couldn't even tell that it would be a, like a half ton platform if. If you didn't see just but what's under the hood, it's, it's pretty crazy really. Does the air conditioning and everything work on it? Yep, air conditioning works. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it charged right up. Actually, when I got the truck, I didn't realize that it had eight. It, I didn't realize that the system was charged because usually when you get a Dodge, I mean, yeah, it's easy out of it. It's yeah. scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Not really illegal, but I didn't know. But you got the NV5600 in there? Yep. And how are you like? How are you liking that so far? It's it's fun to drive. I think eventually I, I want to do a, a forty seven built forty seven yeah with a, a full manual valve body. That way, I just take it to the drag strip, be more consistent with it, just have right. Just, just a fun street truck. Yeah. Especially when I get stuck in traffic. And yeah. Six speed definitely get. It's still a lot of fun. The oh. Way it is. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Every every time we go to lunch or something, it's a blast to ride in. So. Well guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today. Just wanted to give you guys something a little different today. Show you Kevin's truck and uh, yeah, we will see you guys on the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe the video if you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys later.